Yoga with Bank. Again, my, my name is Bank. I'm so honored that you're here with me. So this episode one, we're gonna start with just gentle and correct postural breathing, okay? So I would like you to find your way. You can use the yoga mat, or you can sit on a chair like I am. And maybe sit on the edge of the chair. Roll your buttocks out. Your heels, slide your heel forward so your heels are right under your knee. Or a little forward so your knee is not bending too much. So the blood or prana can flow. Open your palm on your lap. Shoulders roll up and back about three rounds. Throughout the whole class with me, I would like to invite you to bring the tip of your tongue to the roof to kiss the roof of your mouth. And maybe some of you might want to play with a visualization of light, or imagination of golden white light between your eyebrows. You're more than welcome to do the mudra. Everything is going to be okay, mudra. Or yana mudra, if you like. Or whatever mudra that you know. Spread your toes and ground down to your mother earth. Mother Gaia. Instead of hunching forward, I wonder if you can slide your sitting bone back and elongate your spine. So root down to rise up and not over arch your back. So exhale fully, letting out the air or the waste of carbon dioxide out. <sighs> Through the nose of your mouth. <sighs> All the way. Inhale, breathing in, visualize the light become brighter than a thousand sun showering, blessing you. <sighs> Into the nose to your tailbone. Maybe hold your breath at your upper back, your mid back. Exhale, sigh out to your mouth. Imagine the air flowing down to your tailbone, your feet, recycling the energy, the waste to Mother Earth. Inhale from the air, flow from up the crown. Down and pause the prana at your heart area, the lungs area. Hold the breath here. Think about you become the frog breathing. You see the frog. I would like to invite you to breathe like a frog breathing. Hold the breath for a few seconds. And exhale, sigh out. <sighs> All the way out. So your mouth, your nostril. Imagine the flow of the air go down to your tailbone, your feet, your heels. One last cycle, everyone inhale, breathing in, you align your spine. Lengthening like a little sexy curve, like your spine become a little snake. A little more, inhale. Hold the breath for seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Exhale to the mouth side, out. <sighs> Belly suck in, detoxification. From here, allow the breath to normalize, my loves. Allow the universe to breathe through you and watch the simple yet powerful after effect, the experience of aligning your spine with gravitational energy. You've been working from home so much. Allow yourself to open and remember who you essentially are. Allow yourself to be loved over and over again by the delicious breath. Allow the sound to penetrate and go within every cell, every being of your body and the electromagnetic wave around your body. So you can shine your charisma, your aura. Let's talk 
toxicity and more peace and more aliveness, abundant flow. Grounding down to allow the energy to rise up over and down. So welcome home to work from home session with me, my love. Slowly open your eyes again. With a little awareness, maybe you can ask yourself, who is it that is aware of my seeing? Who is it? that is aware of the white, white blood cell and the red blood cells dancing inside my palms. Who is it that is at peace and surrendering? Beautiful, my dear. So from here, we're going to use your right hand Grab the edge of your chair. Uh, if you sit on your yoga mat, you can sit kneeling and grab your own ankle as you kneel down. Make sure you feel safe for your knees though. From here, we're gonna do a little bit of office work. We're gonna target the, breath, the breathing muscular um, and fascial system around your neck and your heart chakra area, your lungs area, okay? So I'm gonna ask you to Grab the ankle if you sing down, or grab the chair, the edge of your chair. Maybe a little bit back, if you like, and grab all the way back. Okay. Left hand, grab the edge of the chair back. So same side, I mean same uh, elongation, same strength, and same stretch. Same part of the chair. I'm sorry, my English sucked today. <laughs> so now, as you as I ask you to roll your buttocks out and fire your sitting bone. Right now your sitting bone is throwing back, right? You get a little bit of lumbar curve here. This is called lower back or lumbar, in technical term. It's a little sexy like Beyonce or J-Lo curve. So inhale over out. If you have good back, just try to lengthen your sternum up, 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 away from your tailbone, down, 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 and back. Inhale. This is called basic cow. And exhale, cat. Curl your spine like a cat. Inhale, curl. Lift your chest, maybe bone by bone. Pelvis tilt anteriorly. And slide your sitting bone back posteriorly. Exhale, cat. Curl your spine like a cat. Maybe use your lower abs, mid abs, and upper abs bone by bone. You tuck your shin down, shoulders away from ears throughout the whole class. Inhale, slide your sitting bone back, bone by bone, your lumbar J-Lo or Beyonce's curve, sexy curve. Come to your neck curve, open your shoulder away from your ears and pull your jaw, your shin jaw line up away from your sternum and collarbone. Receive the light which lies abundance flowing through you. Exhale, lower abs suck in, mid abs and upper abs. Bone by bone, you curl your spine like a cat stretch. Inhale, two more. Bone by bone, you rise up. Open your heart, open your collarbone. Hold the chair tight. Exhale, slide your sitting bone forward. And you can, some of you may want to bring your hands forward to your knee and curl your spine like a cat. Inhale, grab the edge of your chair on the back. One more breath. Vertebra by vertebra, you lengthen to lift up the energy through the spine, cerebral spinal fluid. Exhale, cat. Hands to your knees, you like crow, your spine like a cat. Belly suck in and up, and hold the breath here, hold the breath. Inhale, slowly, bone by bone. Root down to your sitting bone to rise up. The Kundalini energy, the awakening light within. 
Lift your sternum away from your tailbone and hold the breath here. Stretch your heart. Open your collarbone, your front deltoids. If you can hold the breath, hold the breath. Squeeze your pelvic floor. That's called Mula Bandha. Some of you might know that. And exhale, release. Bring your palms back to neutral. Open to receive. Or you can ground down as well. Come back home to neutrality of your spine. Not too much cat or hunching forward, and not too much arrogance or not too much back bend. Welcome home to neutrality. Feel the energy flow throughout your spine. Feel the awakening of the cellular breathing to your fingertips awareness, the inner body awareness. Feel the energy flowing down from your tailbone, breathing down to your knees, your heels, and the sole of your feet that kissing Mother Earth or your house. Your house is the earth element in terms of form, dimension. So see, you can meditate on the essence of your house or your home that you have. What is it that is the essential stuff, thing or nothing, in this room? What's the essence of your room that you are breathing in? Is it the house or how expensive the house, the carpet, your yoga mat is? Is it the beautiful furniture in the house or in this room? What is the essence of who you truly are? In essence, who are you to live? You cannot live without will. What? Shift the focus or kiss the awareness to the hole inside your nostril. Be aware of the space inside your nostril, under the skull of your forehead. Be aware and kiss your awareness to the sinuses under the sinus, under your cheekbone, the sphenoid bone, the butterfly shaped bone. Feel the awareness of space dimension, unmanifested dimension inside your throat, your lungs, and your heart. Feel the essential space inside the blood vessels, inside your palms. Remember, become a new member, an old member of who you essentially are. And remember why you're here. In this crucial time of humanity, kiss your awareness inside the blood vessel, your heart and your lungs, space. And now bring your attention or kiss the awareness around the space outside your skin. The space inside this room or this house or home. Come closer to the right arm or left arm if you like. If you can be aware, kiss the awareness to both left and right arm. And the space, the wind, the air, flow around your arms, the hair. Now can you merge or make love or allow the space around, outside your skin? Of your spine, your arms. To kiss and make love with the space under your skin, right? freaking 
now. Allow the space around this Tibetan sinking bowl and the space inside the sinking bowl to go and merge into the space into you right now. Breathe and receive. Remember that your tightness is love, you are love and you are complete. Remember your infinite worth, your net worth is infinite beyond the money inside your bank account. Start from there and all the worldly abundance will flow. Trust in the unfolding of the greater plan for you. For you who is aware of this energy transmission. This is a call to awakening, to inner world peace. This is a call to breathe deeper. Every breath, every walk would be the walking meditation, would be the working breathing meditation for you. This is a call to stay calm, to counterbalance the chaotic of the outer rest of the world. This might be a call, a plea, to fast from toxic food and toxic news or the mainstream media. I love you. I've been waiting for you for thousands and thousands of nows. Welcome home to your heartbeat. Welcome home to me and we are one. Heartbeat. So now use your right hand, grab the edge of your chair. Maybe walk back if you like to walk back, no? You're gonna try to pull your right ribs away from your right hand. And some of you, if you feel safe, listen to your body, how deep you can go with me, okay? There's no right or wrong. Just safe and less safe for yourself. Feet hip with apart, grounding down. Shake your wrist, shake your ankle if you need to take a break. Once you're ready, come back here. Bring your ribs to the opposite side of your right hand and breathe to your back rib from the inhale. Breathe your frog breathing, bigger breath, big, bigger ribs roll up. Diaphragmatic breathing is really good for vagus nerve activation. The vagus nerve is really good for rest and digest and repair system, your white blood cells. Slowly turn your neck, keep breathing deeply. Turn your neck to the left shoulder. And some of you might want to tilt your left ear to your left shoulder. It's been a long day of working from home, no? So breathe with your big belly and massage your finger like a cupcake to your ribs, the back of your ribs. Feel the awareness there, the front of your ribs. Keep breathing, and now your right collarbone, your right shoulder, find a good yummy spot for yourself, keep breathing, you stay here about 7 breaths, 4 more breaths, stay strong, stay with me, don't give up, breathe, massage your collarbone, the sternum, the heart chakra, <laughs> Actually, the sternum, that's the so-called thymus gland, is the activation for the production of your B cell and T cell, the white blood cell. Let's keep fighting the bacteria and the, all the viruses in your body. Every day we have that, you know. So try to breathe and strengthen the immune system. Hmm. Well, let's do one more breath. Inhale. Hold the breath. Release your hands. Stop shaking. Exhale to your mouth. <sighs> Release your shin down to your collarbone. Inhale, lift your right arm. Open your left palm on your knee. Lift your right arm up. 
Exhale, calm the inner shift flow down. In front of your third eye, your throat, your right shoulder, your right collarbone, your right spine. Penetrate down to your right tailbone, right sacrum, right knee. You can do two more to like inhale. Your right side activating with the white blood cells, the T cell, the white light activation. Visualize the white light flow to your right side, right knee, right toes, right arm. One more, inhale. Copy the energy, this is called energy healing flow that I love to call awakening the chi. Coming down to your heart, your shoulder, your liver, your right side, kidney, and your knee. Normalize your breath, or rather, you're not a breather anymore. Allow the universe the divine of your own choice to breathe through you. Feel that you are essentially infinite love. Welcome home to the infinite, pure love of the nobody, nothing, which is the definition of God, divine. If you are allergic to God, the G word, I love you. You can call that nobody love me, nobody or nothing or space. Whatever pointer that works for you, that being, Baha'i human, that being has been waiting to breathe and kiss you, make love within you, every cell. Cosmic orgasm right here, right now. Blossoming the flower of now. Now has won. Now won. Alright. Slowly open your eyes. I wonder if you can notice the right eye and left eye. Maybe right shoulder and left shoulder is a little different, slightly different. Observe the after effect. It's a good practice of awareness within. Now we're going to go to the opposite side, if you remember. It's really easy, really basic for beginners. For office syndromers, <laughs> I don't know if that's a word. But grab the opposite hand, left hand. To this opposite chair, you know, what's your part of the chair that you grab? Find a good range of motion, that yummy stretch of yourself. Pull your left shoulder back, away from your left ear. Point A, away from point B, you know. Inhale. Breathe your ribs. And exhale, slowly. Okay, turn this way. Bring your ribs, turn and twist your back ribs, left ribs, away from your left hand. Both shoulders away from ears. Breathe and feel the awareness, kissing the awareness of your left shoulder, left skin, left muscle. Maybe your mantra, I love to say my, to my student once in a while, to breathe in and say to yourself, I love my tightness. I love my yummy pain of suffering before the bliss of before the enlightenment. <laughs> Suffer until the point of exhaustion, guys. Stay with me. Stay strong. Find a good angle of your neck. Some of you might want to bring your right ear to your right shoulder. Find a good spot that works for your body tight, your tightness. Breathing in, your back ribs roll up, your ribs expand like a frog breathing, remember? Big belly, don't be shy to breathe like a big belly. This is a good way to lose weight, actually. It's paradoxical. And slowly, you can slowly tilt your head with your hand a little deeper. Now use your right fingertip like a cupcake. 
and massage your meridians, massage your ribs, the back ribs, the front ribs. Breathe. Think about you trying to shake your hand. Shake your hand, but this is massage, you know, knocking on the door of the bone, the bone marrow, the T cell, under your sternum, under your collarbone, the heart meridian, the lungs meridian. Keep breathing. Keep smiling in the suffering. With me. Hmm. Let's do two more breaths. Inhale. Uh, exhale, you can open your mouth. Uh, like this side. Uh, one more breath. Inhale. Mm, uh, all the way out. And stop. Beautiful. Slowly suck your shin down. Feel the energy of your right hand calming down. Inhale, next time release your right hand down your knee, lift your left arm up. Stretching. Exhale, allow the beautiful chi to run down. Calming, showering. To your left shoulder, left ear, inner ear, left sphenoid bone. Chest, the heart, your lungs, your kidneys, your knees, your feet. Inhale. Maybe two more. Otherwise, you can do one. It's okay. Exhale down. Beautiful. One more. Inhale. Exhale. Left eye. Become more vivid, more luminosity you can see. Now to Mother Earth. Beautiful guys. From here, grab the right hand behind your back and grab the edge of the chair. Left hand behind your back and grab the opposite edge of your chair. If you cannot do like what I'm doing right now, grab the edge of the chair above your elbow. You can grab your elbow as well. Or your tricep, if you can go up to your tricep. Inhale, lift your chest up, honoring the Beyonce or J-Lo pelvis tilt a little bit, not too much over arch your back. A little back though. Exhale, bow your chin forward and down. Now slide your shoulders away from ears a little deeper. Tilt your head to the right. On the left side first. Inhale. Relax your jaw. Relax your TMJ. Your muscle. Muscle. Exhale down. Let's do three plus three. Two more circle. Inhale up. Exhale down. One more circle for this rotation. You're gonna reverse to the opposite in a little bit. Okay, now reverse to the opposite direction. Inhale up, receive the white blood cell, the white light from the crown chakra, from the brain, the pineal gland, and down. Some of you might feel a little numbness or tingling in your arms already, no? Hmm. One more circle. Go to 360 degree exploration of your range of motion. Hmm. Exhale down. Now inhale, look up vertically to the light. Receive the light. Open your shoulders away from ears. Lift your heart, your sternum away from your tailbone, down, sternum up. Hold the breast, give a little bubble on your cheek like this. And tuck your chin down. As you hold the breast, tuck your chin down. Exhale to your mouth. Put your tongue out, wiggle your jaw, relax your jaw. And hold the breath after the long exhale. Hold the breath. 
chin to your collarbone, lift your collarbone to your chin, squeeze your pelvic floor, and lock the energy to the light bulb on your heart. Hold this as long as you like and inhale, release your arm and rise the inner chi up. Exhale, comb the inner chi all the way like a waterfall of grace down. Beautiful. Maybe you radiate that light out. The prayer meditation to the inner world peace. Feel your body become electrified, electromagnetic wave cleansing and healing every part that had a blockage. I declare for these upcoming days to come, you will find a sense of greater peace, abundant flow, like never before. You're abiding in the presence of light. And now, the last one before we part, cross your wrist and cross your thumb together, release your forefinger. Think about this like a butterfly. This is called one of the so-called Hasta Mudra. All right? The mudra, the seal, Hasta means hand, so the hand sealing. And this call, this specific mudra is called Garuda Mudra, the mudra of courage. I would like to place this mudra into my heartbeat. Feel that little cell, the little inner shell, the little heart has been waiting for your attention or your awareness to shower and kiss them. Inhale, you can look up to the light. In the darkness of your closed eyes, exhale, you bow your monkey brain to kiss your heart with love and grace and humility. When was the last time you feel you're not heartless? When was the last time that I feel my heart beat like never before? Now or never? Slowly, you can stay and abide in your heart. You can talk to your little heart. Nickname him or her. She's been working for you tirelessly for many, many years. Your heart deserves to be acknowledged. Your heart deserves to remember, reintroduce to yourself or your higher self awareness. Be grateful, write gratitude journal that I'm so grateful. For my mom, my dad, and Mother Earth, Father Divine, or space that are giving me this heart and lungs to shine and radiate the light forward wherever you go. Be there. If you cannot go outside, go deep within. And remember, you are part of nature. The space inside you is the same space inside the tree, vessels. The same breath that you're breathing, in the same air, the ocean, the waterfall is breathing as well. Allow the truth to set you free. Remember who you truly are and why you're here. So now we're going to move to the last exercise. A little twist before we leave. I think I still have time. Okay. So this class hopefully going to last within 40 or 45 minutes. So I'm going to ask you to stand. If you're sitting too long, just shake your leg, shake your ankle. All right. Move your wrist around. Move the joint. Again, you can use your office chair, 
you can work from home, you can sit on the chair again or on the yoga mat. If you sit on the yoga mat, you might need to lean back, lift your spine. Instead of hunching forward, lift your spine. So we don't want to collapse the lumbar disc to the herniated disc when we get older. Okay, so elongate and honoring that sexy lumbar curve, almost always. Now lean back a little bit, lift your right ankle, place on top of your left knee. Sit on the edge of the chair if you like. I'm not sure if you guys can see me. But basically, you're making a figure four. If you sit down on your yoga mat, you can do that as well. Bend your knees and place your ankle on top of your left knee. So inhale, lengthen. Some of you might have the knee up high like this. If you're really tight, remember, I love my tightness. That's your mantra. Spread your toes a little bit to turn your legs. They are connected. Flex your ankle about 90 degrees. This is pointing. This is called flexing, about 90 degrees. Inhale, lift your chest. Remember to roll your sitting bone back. Elongate your lumbar curve, your spinal elongation. Exhale, try to hinge with the hip joint. You can grab the table and pull your heart forward, leading with your heart, not leading with your head. No, no, no. I want you to lift your heart away from your tailbone and hinge with the hip joint. Inhale. Exhale. Level 1, stage 1, you can stay here. Level 2, stage 2, you can use your right elbow. Massage the arch of your right foot. There's an arch here. You can massage your elbow. And now, level your sacrum down, left and right sacrum, or uh, left and right sitting bone down to your chair or your mat. Inhale, lift your spine, a little elongation. Exhale, belly stuck in. Alright, and twist. Inhale. Exhale, some of you want to grab the chair and twist. One more breath, about three deep breaths. Quality over quantity. Exhale, twist. Alright, now inhale slowly, untwist slowly, come back to center. Exhale, cross your own knee. Think about your sit cross leg. It's not really healthy to sit cross leg too long, but once in a while it's okay. Level your sitting bone down, right sit bone down. Inhale, lift your left arm. Exhale, hook your elbow against your right knee and grab the edge of your chair and twist. Inhale. Exhale, twist. I heard a little click on my spine. I'm not sure you heard that. Inhale, one more. Every time you inhale, lengthen. Every time you exhale, belly up in. It's called core bracing technique. I will talk about that later and twist. See you in the next episode. Good, look forward. And slowly come back, inhale. Extend your spine. Exhale, release your feet. Hip width or shoulder width apart. And calm the inner sheet down. Feel the blissful neutrality. Welcome home. You are enough. Your tightness, your conditions are enough. To me, as an awareness, not cruel band. I am enough. Keep telling yourself that. And trust in that. Start from that. Abundance. Your net worth is infinite enough to me. Beautiful, my loves. So now I'm going to go to the opposite side. Before we say goodbye, I'll see you later. Place your left ankle on top of your opposite right knee. Alright? Like figure four, number four. Find a good, neutral, sexy lumbar curve. Breathe and massage, and you can stay here. And exhale slowly, suck your belly in, and go to option two, stage two, elbow massaging the arch. Try to find a good spot, a little foot massage. Keep your lower back as flat or lengthening, your spine lengthening as much as you can. Alright, and twist. Mm. Wow, you heard that? Inhale, 
Exhale, pull your right sacrum down and twist your right shoulder away from your right sacrum. You can hold the edge of your chair as you like. Inhale. Mm, exhale. Beautiful, guys. Slowly, after three deep quality breaths, come back to center. Inhale. Good. Utilize the breath and come to deeper and we're gonna do the close twist. So that was open twist, by the way. So left knee on top of your right knee, you got it? Okay, crossing. Inhale, lift your chest. Exhale, hook your right elbow on the opposite left knee. Left sit bone down, inhale. Hook it up and push your elbows down and twist. Lengthening. Oh, you heard that, it's really yummy pop opening, the energy can flow, exhale, make sure you ground down, elbow push against your knee and your knee against your right elbow, one more breath, slowly looking down, and release, slowly untwist, rise up, release your leg, Exhale, slowly calm the inner sheet, flow down. Allow yourself to be loved by neutrality and welcome home like never before. Allow yourself to know that you are infinite abundance, kissing and making love in every cell of you. Allow yourself to astral travel into the deepest universe within. This is a new tourism business to travel to the universe inside you. Checking in and feel the after effect for a few breaths, a few now. Grounding down. Feel the temperature change. Compare your body, your mind, your joint, the flow inside the joint. Before and after. Right here and right now. I am loved. You can repeat after me. Right here right now. I am alone inside my closed eyes, but I am not lonely. Right here, right now. I am not alone. Because the infinite being behind every human is breathing with and through me. So my ego is not a breather anymore. I am the bigger brother, bigger sister. The awareness, the space, penetrating through me. All things, all the jobs I'll be touching will be turned into peace and bliss, abundance and gratitude. One hand touching your heart, Feel that little boy, little girl within you. Your heartbeat has a nickname. You can nickname him or her. Acknowledge them. And bow your monkey brain to kiss your heart. I connect my heartbeat to your heartbeat. Please know that you're not alone. I'm sending you much love and light, supporting you energetically throughout the earth. Awaken, evolve, and shine. This is a call to awaken my beloved friends, brother, sister. Take care of your heartbeat. Much love. Until next time. Namaste.